Hey everybody, Tony from Detroit Tesla, back again with another video. We got FSD beta 10.69.25 or 25. Um, I got some bad news. This is probably going to be our last FSD drive with this vehicle. I'm going to be looking to sell this vehicle here in the next few weeks. So you served us well, Natasha, but I should get it on my other Tesla that I have at home. Probably subscription because I still think the 15K is too high for FSD. However, I am out here for this video in a complete snowstorm. Um, we dropped a couple inches here in Detroit, or we got a couple inches dropped. Um, FSD is not engaged right now. I am just, I am just creeping out slowly because I thought FSD was going to be engaged, and of course, a person has to be there. Um, so I'm going to try and get FSD to engage here because um, it was fine all the way up until we got here. So here it is. All right, so now FSD is engaging. I'm forewarning you guys. I had a drive like this a year ago. It's already going way too fast. Um, it was completely terrible. And I don't think, yep, see, going right for that curb. <laughs> and I was just about to say before the car almost crashed into the curb um, that I don't, I don't think this drive is going to be a very good one. Um, I, don't, I don't think they've trained the neural nets at all for snow still. Because as you've probably seen, um, they still need quite a bit of improvement on dry, uh, what better weather. Um, but it's just, it's going way too fast for my liking and it's got to stop now. Um, so it's stopping, but sliding, <laughs> uh, a little bit of slip and slide. So heartbreaking. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have to keep, you're going to see me keep doing this on the wheel to keep it down, but I don't, I don't think this, um, I don't think this drive, yep. Take over immediately. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, I didn't expect it to be that good of a drive like I was mentioning I couldn't I can't even get my sentences out with the car without the car going nuts so I, I don't think this is going to be a very long drive maybe 20 30 minutes um, at max because I'm just out here risking my life and the car's life uh, for some content for you guys so let me try re-engaging again um, and see what goes on I mean the car is just look it's just like it sees that there's a trash can there man this is i don't know I, how are they gonna achieve level five autonomy when there's you know half the world has these conditions of snow rain ice you know all that stuff um i might come back uh it's supposed to snow today and tomorrow but i might come back yet again um, it just going to the right, but I'm sorry my freaking <laughs> speaking is so terrible. This car is driving me nuts, but um, yeah, I might come back in a few days um, if I don't end up selling the car to record um, a video in a little bit better condition so we can see any improvements, but so far, I, I man, I don't see any, 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 any improvements um, with, you know, winter weather. Because, I mean, as you can see, it's kind of interesting that it's still picking up the roads and the lines and everything. But it's just like this thing is about to go everywhere. And I, I wonder if it's using the car and the bar back left blind spot to actually line itself up. Because it's kind of interesting how it's keeping the lane, but you can barely see the lane in front of you. Now, I disengage because there is a Jeep next to us. And, yeah, this thing is just sliding everywhere. Um, so... Yeah, definitely still not ready for horrible weather like this. Um, so, yeah, the car is just ugh, everywhere. Let's uh, struggling big time, so I had to take over there. Man, this is just wow. <laughs> I mean, keep in mind, I'm not surprised, guys. This is this is expected in this type of weather. Um, I wasn't, you know. It was very much expected. So it looks like this road up here is a little bit more cleaner. Um, I'm gonna wait till, uh, yeah, so let's try it here. All right. So I believe our destination <laughs> is actually uh, coming. Uh, wants to go to the right, still has that problem, but it's picking up that these are a bunch of parked cars. So that's good. Um, leaning to the right. 
Okay, so let's see what it does. I'm gonna have to hold on here. Yeah, you see, it's doing this jilting and it's scaring me or like making me nervous. So then that's what I keep doing. And, and these people, you know, if you're watching this video and you live in a winter wonderland, you know, you gotta slow down. Yeah, I mean, your cars aren't immune, whether it's a Tesla, whether it's anything, you know, um, but just take it easy, you know? Now I'm gonna attempt to pick another destination, but I don't I don't think it's gonna go well. <laughs> so um, this one has plenty of turns. So let's see how the car handles. They're gonna bump it down to 20. Um, it's unfortunate that there's not like, you know, patches of road that are good. Yeah, see, just, nope. I don't know what's why it's making it do that. Like, is it just like these patches of snow that are here that they can't see the road? It is just tripping the computer out, maybe. I don't know. It's speculation, but we're going to have to slow it because there's a situation just waiting to happen here. And the car doesn't quite understand. Okay, it's going around it. It's decent. Now, this area is a little bit cleaner, um, but let me bump that back up. Occupancy Network picking up this uh, construction on the new building next to us. So it's going to turn right on this street. It's pretty clear here and into the street. Uh, these are, these are pri pri like higher end private residents in Metro Detroit. So, yep, we're sliding. <laughs> but hey, it caught itself. In, in my older uh, video from last year, when it would slide, it just pff, disengaged. So I, I guess that was an improvement. Uh, and what I mean by disengage is what you already saw two, three times in this video of just uh, take over immediately. That's what I meant by disengage. But man, this is, <laughs> this is, this is nerve wracking, you know? Okay. Right into that big pile of slush. Nice. Okay. So we're still keeping it down like 15, 20 miles an hour. Um, okay. It's kind of finding its way now because the road is a little bit more clear, but we're gonna go back onto Woodward and then we're gonna do like a little kind of jump across, I like to call. Um, this I already know is not gonna be well because Woodward is just a complete disaster of uh, slush and ice. So it's stopping good here. So um, I already know I'm gonna have to take over because if the car can do this, I mean, this is gonna be impressive. Through slush, getting over three lanes, but it's, it's probably gonna fail. Um, so a bunch of cars. Let's see what the computer's picking up. So it wants to go, but it's picking up this uh, little Buick Jeep. Let's see. All right, it's clear from the left. There is a car to the right. And, nope, there it is. So I'm gonna go over here because this guy was going way too fast. These people just gotta slow down, you know? As soon as it felt that like drifting, I guess maybe the drifting hasn't been improved, it just stopped. So you can see I'm even having a tough time. Luckily I got 500 horsepower and all wheel drive. Um, not that that's gonna help me much, but. Let's see. Man, I just, I'm just trying to think as like, you know, somebody that's been using the software for like over, crap, it's been like a year. And like, what, two months now? How are they ever gonna, how are they ever gonna figure this out? Like, this is like a good talking point. If you guys wanna talk about it in the comment section, you know, um, how are they ever going to do this? I mean, do they get have to train the system just to, essentially what I'm doing, sending that signal back of, okay, he keeps like, you know, putting the freaking uh, speed down. Like, what, what are they, what are they gonna do? How are they gonna figure this out? Cause this is, like I said, half the world deals with this for, you know, four to six months out of the year, if not, you know, certain places more like in Canada and stuff like that. So shout out to everybody in Canada that's uh, recently got FSD beta, you know, I hope you guys are having fun. Um, so, okay, it's slowing. Okay, it sees the salt truck. The salt truck is going slow. So he's waving us through. I had to push it there. Um, yep, so I'm disengaging again um, because it's just going way too fast through those, you know, areas through those turns. So All 
All right, so it's a right turn here. Okay, so yeah, the, I didn't know this was a parking lot. Um, I'm gonna keep going forward because there's a big salt truck behind us trying to clean all this up. I think they're just salting. Um, so I'm gonna get over to the right. I'm gonna pick one more destination and I really think that's gonna be it for this video, guys, because I just, I don't wanna <laughs> risk my life and other people's lives and the car's life um, out here because it's really terrible. But again, you know, I'm watching the car, I'm monitoring it. I just, um, it's going to be very interesting to see the, uh, the future of autonomy um, in the snow. <laughs> so let's pick another destination. And as you can see, the snow is just blowing everywhere. It's like, I don't know if that, you know, affects it. Like, you know, yep, I had to disengage. I was going to pop that corner. So yeah, just everywhere man this is complete probably madness for the computer right now like i can even i can't even see anything but let's put on fsd some of you are probably watching this like this guy is crazy jesus that was um i'm sliding <laughs> i think it went up on a curb big time yeah i think it's a big pile of snow yep I'm gonna come back when it's uh, clear and see if that was a curb, but I, I think it came up on a curb. Oh man. Yeah, so this thing is just going nuts. All right, so it's trying. Nope. One more engage after that, I'm probably going to call it a day because <laughs> there's no way we're going to be able to get a good drive out of this or an actual drive. So it's, it's trying. All right. One more. One more. Give it a second. Let's get back to this snow pile. Pass the snow pile right there. Okay. So, okay. It's still too fast. Hard braking. Sees the curb surprisingly, which is interesting. Okay. Hanging out at 15 miles per hour. I set it to that because, you know, it's just like I, I don't even know how it's seen. I think it's just picking this up as a subdivision, which is which is good. They have to use that logic, or if that's even the right term, to you know, navigate these streets that are covered, even streets that the car knows from map data has lane lines and curbs and stuff, but it, it needs to use that logic that it uses a subdivision when it detects snow. Because I know the cameras can detect water, ice, stuff like that by visually seeing it. But yeah, it's, it's uh, really interesting to see all of it unfold. But yeah, hopefully they uh, they do figure it out. But that was uh, <laughs> that was such an interesting little drive we had. Um, but surprisingly, we're coming up on 15 minutes. So light is green, proceeding slowly. I wonder if it's just like struggling for traction because I don't see the little orange car with the s swerving icon on the dashboard. So on the UI. Well, we're just not far off from our destination. Um, I'm gonna call it it. I'm gonna call it a drive here, guys, um, because it's really, really uh, unusable in the snow. But I just wanted to make a video of the latest update. Again, if it clears up the next few days, I might actually do another video. You know, if it's cleared up, obviously, um, I might, like I said, sell the car by then. But I think I should have enough time to do another video if they end up cleaning all these streets because we're supposed to get more snow um, and it's probably going to cover it. And that's why they're not cleaning a lot of this because I think more snow is going to be dumped on the Metro Detroit area. But I mean, that is it for now. This is Tony from Detroit Tesla signing off. Thanks again for watching and happy holidays to all of you.